I think that the parliamentary assembly should have a right on its own budget because otherwise you are not independent enough towards the Committee of Ministers. The Council of Europe consists of two organs, that's the Committee of Ministers on the one hand and on the other hand the Parliamentary Assembly, but to be genuinely independent Parliament you need a, a budget right of your own. That we have to rely now first of all on the payment by the, uh, of the contributions due by the Russian Federation since 2017 because that will alleviate the financial crisis within the, the Council of Europe. And apart from that you can also look at other ways of funding the activities and the operation of the Council of Europe. For example, that you go for a, a, a zero real growth of the, of the budget so that you do not say as is today the situation, it's a nominal zero growth, so you have no increase in absolute terms of your income. And you can also look for outside uh, funding, for example, funding by the EU for services rendered, uh, agreements made with the parliamentary assembly, or that outside parties, market parties, are paying for services rendered by the, by the uh, Council of Europe. You should always be very careful on spending public funds. But it has now been already for eight years that the, the budget has been sobered for the uh, Parliamentary Assembly and also for the Council of Europe, which means in essence that the increase in salary which is warranted by inflation is now paid by the dismissal in the last eight years of ten staff. So there is, has been a reduction of the staff is almost 10% in the last eight years just to fund what you need to pay to your current staff. I think this is not a sound situation, this is not an acceptable situation and the member states should really pay for the quality of the organization because the Council of Europe is an international organization not with a gainful or economical aim, it does not want to make a profit, so then it's up to the member states to finance its uh, operations. And if you do not do so, then you do not live up to what you intended to do when you created this international organization.